What is up my fellow beasts, welcome back to a new video, today I am bringing you my top 10 overpowered guns that people do not use anymore, even though they are as good as the classic overpowered guns people like using such as the ACRs and the FAMAS and the AK-74U, you know, stuff like that. So yeah, without further ado, at the number 10 position we have the AK-47, so the AK is an old beast, it's a classic, it's one of the best assault rifles in the Call of Duty games, but for some reason it has never been the number one in any Call of Duty game. It's the, the best one in my opinion is the one from Modern Warfare 2, it's, it's a beast, it has a very high damage, possibly the highest damage of all the assault rifles in the game, but it is rarely used. I think that the reason why people don't really use the AK-47 that much in um, MW2 is because it has a, a cheeky little bit of recoil. It's not much, it's not super crazy like the F-2000 or the Uzi from Black Ops 1, but I think that's enough to make the nerd stay away from this overpowered beast. Then we have at the number 9 position the type 100 from world at war so in world at war you know that the most op gun uh, or at least the gun everyone uses is the mp40 let me tell you something i think that gun sucks yes it's very powerful and whatever but it has a ton of recoil i mean it's just it's shaking all over the place and if it wasn't for the high damage, most likely no one would be using the Stang. And then you have the Thompson. When people are not, when people are not using the MP40, they are using the Thompson. But there is another SMG in the game, ladies and gentlemen, that in my opinion is better than the two I just mentioned, which is the Type 100. This thing is an absolute monster. You, you will destroy people with this thing. It has a very good reload, you look like a badass uh, using this thing because of the way you hold this uh, SMG and it has a very fast fire rate and for a gun with such a fast fire rate it doesn't have that much recoil and if you use the box magazine which is the extended mags of World of War you will melt people and this thing is so good you don't even need uh, stopping power. Then we have at the number 8 position the old beast another old beast the barrett 50 caliber so this was i believe the most used sniper for a while in modern warfare 2 until everyone started quick scoping with the intervention uh, and it was the most used sniper because of how easy it was to use you can just spam shots like crazy in fact um, you can actually use this thing at close range as if you had a shotgun that's how good it is when it comes to spamming shots but since mw2 um, pretty much the Barrett 50 caliber has been gone. I haven't seen this thing being used in a very long time, not even in MW2. And uh, it came back in Modern Warfare 3, but in, in that game it wasn't, used, it wasn't used that much. And not even now in Modern Warfare Mastered, which also has the uh, Barrett 50 caliber. Then we have at the number 7 position another sniper, I mean a shotgun. We have the shotgun attachment on the FAL assault rifle so this shotgun attachment has to be on this assault rifle for this to work so the reason why this um, shotgun is overpowered is because when you equip it on the fell there's this glitch that makes it have unlimited range so it's pretty much a sniper rifle you can shoot someone across the map and you will get a hit marker but the thing is the more further away people are from you um, the more shots you will have to fire so uh, to kill someone across the map most likely you will have to fire at least all the shots on your shotgun attachment but if you are going for a decent range like medium range you will destroy people in two shots. It is absolutely insane. I was having a blast using this and I was destroying people, man. So this might be, I mean, if it's not, it, it's not as good as the SPAS-12, which is the best shotgun in MW2, but it's most likely the second best shotgun. Then at close range, you destroy people. So uh, this thing is a beast. If you have never used this thing, you need to try it. Then we have at the number six position, another gun from Modern Warfare 2, which is also in MW3, the G18 
with the akimbo attachment so this is a pistol and this thing in mw2 absolutely melts people in mw3 it sucks ass and to be honest i have never seen anyone using this thing in that game so pretty much in modern warfare 2 the g18 with the akimbo attachment is pretty much uh, the same thing as the FMG9s from Modern Warfare 3, but the thing is, the FMG9s are still used in MW3. If you go play the game right now, you will still see people using that thing as a secondary weapon, but in MW2, you just you don't see the G18s being used anymore. They have completely disappeared in MW2, and to be more specific, I, I think that I haven't seen this uh, pistol being used since MW2 was the most recent Call of Duty game. I remember playing this game back in the day and just using the G18s as a primary gun. That's how OP these things were. Uh, because at close range, you just you destroy people. The fire rate is extremely fast and it has a very good range. And then we have at the number 5 position, again from MW2, the Rafika. So the Rafika is also a pistol in Modern Warfare 2. A lot of people like using this with the akimbo attachment but this thing has such a good range i always liked using it um, as a single pistol so in mw2 the rafika is pretty much a pocket m16 because you can one burst people across the map how insane is that a pistol that one bursts people across the map just like the overpowered m16 so this uh, pistol is awesome back in the day i remember people using this thing as i said with akimbo but pretty much since the mw2 days i haven't seen uh, this thing being used anymore even though it's such a good pistol that you can just run around with it as if uh, it was a primary gun and then we have at the number four position the uh, g11 from Black Ops 1. So in Black Ops 1, the G11 is pretty much an M16 on steroids. It works the same way. It's a three round burst assault rifle. And at first, the G11 was super overpowered. Everyone uh, used this thing. Then it caught a little nerf. And the only thing they nerfed was the hip fire. But I don't know what happened. Everyone just stopped using the G11 out of nowhere. I guess they thought they turned the gun into poop. But as I said, the only thing they nerfed was the hip fire. So you couldn't use this thing as an SMG anymore because the hip fire was so OP. You didn't have to aim down the sights to kill people at close and uh, medium range. So obviously that was nerfed. But at long range, when you aim down the sights, you will absolutely melt people. This assault rifle is deadly accurate. It has no recoil. It has a very good fire rate. And it's insane, this thing is rarely used in Black Ops 1. I would say that this is even better than the FAMAS if you try to stay at, you know, if you try to go for kills at medium and also long range. And then we have at the number 3 position, the SVU Sniper Rifle. So I think that on this list, this is the one that is used the most but you just don't see it being used that much anymore so this sniper is in black ops 2 and there are other snipers very similar to the svu in the call of duty games but i decided to mention this one because i think it's the most popular so this thing is absolutely disgusting in black ops 2 because it has a very fast fire rate so you can spam this thing like crazy and i mean if you fire first you will always get the kill this is a great sniper rifle for people who like you know just camping on the back of the map but if you want to run around with this thing you can also do it you just need extended mags an acog sight or whatever and you can use this thing as an assault rifle or uh, an smg so when black ops 2 came out you know when uh, everyone liked quick scoping and whatever the people who sucked at quick scoping loved using the SVU. I don't know what happened uh, pretty much after a certain point. People just stopped using this overpowered sniper rifle. I don't know why. And uh, you don't see it being used as much. And then we have at the number two position, the Type 95 from Modern Warfare 3. So this thing is just like the G11 from Black Ops 1, another M16 on steroids so the same thing that happened to the g11 also happened to the type 95 this thing was very good at close range the hip firing was deadly accurate the damn thing looked like an smg you could hip fire 
people at close range medium range with no problemo and obviously that got nerfed and you know for some reason after that cheeky nerf they didn't nerf it at long medium range people just completely stopped using the type 95 they started using the acr and i pretty much haven't seen this thing being used in freaking ages in mw3 and finally at the number one position the most overpowered gun on this list that has been completely forgotten is the m14 from modern warfare 3 i've never really used this thing that much i don't really like single shot weapons and i haven't ever seen this thing being used that much in mw3 but the other day i was playing the game trying to get some gameplay for a video and there was this guy running around with the m14 and he and he was destroying everyone including me i think i was using like the pm9 or a shotgun attachment or whatever i had no chance i was getting melted every time this guy saw me at close range medium range long range i had no chance so i was like let me use this thing and oh my goodness after you put rapid fire on this thing you will completely obliterate people it's very very good at long medium range because it's like a two shot kill at close range it's not so good but with rapid fire if you spam shots very quick uh, you can destroy people also and i was just amazed at how good this thing is but it has never been a very popular gun in MW3. There are very similar guns to the M14 in the Call of Duty games like the FAL from Black Ops 2. But I think that one is still used once in a while. The M14 is completely gone. I think, <laughs> I think that nerd the other day using this gun was the first time I saw someone using it in MW3. So there you go ladies and gentlemen. This is my top 10 most overpowered guns that have been forgotten in the Call of Duty games. Let me know your opinion in the comment section below. Let me know about other OP guns people don't use anymore in the Call of Duty games. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace out.